Hello and welcome to the second tutorial. Uh, today we will add a little functionality to the app. Um, and first of all, we have to remove the spring animation because there's a little bug, I think, in the new Xcode or in the Swift UI library that uh, makes a really weird animation uh, if we use the spring animation right here. But yeah, so first of all, we will add a new struct called calculation. Uh, state, and we will use this variable and store it right here. And we don't need the state keyword here, but instead, uh, we will make a state variable called uh, state and this is calculation state and here we just say state dot current number and yeah okay so there's everything fine and we <coughs> create a new function called append number takes in the number of type double and what this does first of all it looks if the number <coughs> is uh, if the number has any decimal places and you can see if this is the case by seeing the truncating reminder this basically means uh, if the number is bigger than one uh, remove one and if this is equal to zero uh, if this is equal to zero and the current number also has no uh, decimal places so if this is also zero we want <coughs> the current number to be 10 times the current number plus the number. What this does is if you have, for example, 3 as your current number and you want to append, uh, for example, 5, what it does, it takes 3, multiplies it by 10, and then adds 5, and we get 35. Yeah, but um, so what we also have to write in front is that it is a mutating function because uh, the state gets modified. And yeah, if this is not the case, else we just want our current number to be the number. Yeah, so what we can do now is have a binding in here and we call this state and right here we need add an on tap gesture and here we just say state that append number and then we take the number that's stored in the uh, in the number view, so we need to tell it that it is self. And this unknown self is just to uh, that the self object is not stored into the closure in the, the closure, and yeah. So, okay, ah, that does, yeah, yeah, ah, ah, I forget this, that what I did right here is just if you use a class, but if you use a struct, you don't need the unknown self. Yeah, so what we have to do now is we have to add the state right here, and if you use a binding, you need to put a dollar sign in front of it and 
if we put all if we put it over so So let's see if it works. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, it works as we expected it to work. And for example, if we now change the 4 to pi. You see, it uh, has two decimal places, and if I now click a free, uh, it sees that there are decimal places, and it just takes this number. So yeah, here you can see it. And if this has no decimal places, but the number you click has decimal places, it will also delete it. So that we have no undefined behavior. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and yeah, hope to see you at the next one.